What's up guys, welcome back to part four of our RPA series residential purchase agreement. Right now we're gonna talk about the wire fraud and electronics funds uh, transfer advisory. So super simple on this one guys. The wire fraud and electronic funds transfer advisory is really very simple. Um, you wanna make sure that your buyer and seller are aware that if there's ever any kind of wire transfer that needs to be done, that um, they're aware that uh, they need to get any account numbers, phone numbers, information directly from the escrow company. Um, anytime a wire transfer is needed, the wire instructions are always sent through a secure email. So let's take a look and see what it says here. It says the ability to communicate and conduct business electronically is a convenience and reality in nearly all parts of our lives. At the same time, it has provided hackers, scammers, new opportunities for their criminal activity. Many businesses have been victimized, and the real estate business is no exception. While wiring or, or electronically transferring funds is a welcome convenience, we all need to exercise extreme caution. Um, emails attempting to include fraudulent wire transfers have been received. Basi basically, what they're doing is they're copying the, um, uh, the logos, the phone numbers, the information. They're copying an email from the um, escrow companies. They're going to send you a wire instruction, and then from what I understand, your buyer will wire funds and then it's just gone. So definitely um, talk to your escrow officer about this if you have additional questions. Um, and it just says, do not ever wire or electronically transfer funds prior to calling to confirm the transfer instructions. So if you get something from your escrow company, just call them or send them an email and say it separately and just say, hey, did you guys send wire instructions? I received something, just wanna make sure it's you. When they confirm that it's a yes, then you can go ahead and forward it to your buyer. What I typically do is I typically have them send the wire instructions directly to my buyer so the buyer can check um, and avoid sending personal information in email or texts. Of course, you don't want to send you know, um, information that's sensitive. Take steps to secure the system uh, you are using with your email account. Uh, these steps include creating strong passwords, using secure Wi-Fi, and not using free services. So you want to be real careful about that. Um, and if and if the buyer, uh, you know, there's resources here uh, that if the buyer uh, feels that they received um, fake information, then they can go and, and they can report it. And it says, no, there are existing alternatives to electronic and wired fund transfers, such as cashier's checks. And by signing below, the undersigned acknowledge that each has read, understands, and has received a copy of the wire fraud electronic funds transfer advisory. So. Again, guys, this one's a really simple one. Um, so I wanna just take a second really quick and talk about what we've covered so far. Uh, but so far we have covered your uh, disclosure recording agency relationship. That's part one of our series. Um, this talks about the relationship between you and the client and what that means. Um, we discussed the fair housing and discriminator uh, discrimination advisory. So part two of our series talked about fair housing and what that means. Uh, part three was possible representation of more than one buyer or seller. Remember, this is a disclosure and consent form, so they're actually consenting to the fact that you are representing multiple people here. So don't don't uh, forget about that. Okay, and then the last one, which we just talked about, is our wire fraud, um, wire fraud and electronic funds transfer advisory. Super important. Um, the next video, which is going to be part five, we are going to talk about what I call the meat and potatoes, the California Residential Purchase Agreement and Joint Instructions. So stay tuned because that's going to happen on the next video. Um, be sure to like the video. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those questions as well. Have a great day.